This video will demonstrate how to use the Controls and Mapping Info tab and assign 3D models to footprint and board files in 3D Canvas. The preliminary steps that must be taken care of before mapping 3D models are setting up the library and setting up the display to show the step model. For setting up the libraries, the path for footprints, pad stacks, and 3D models must be defined. Go to, Setup, User Preferences, Paths, Library and define the Library Paths, Pad Path, PSM Path, and the Step Path. Add the Library Paths to explain the 3D Model Mapper, select Apply, and click OK. After this, we will set up the display in the 3D Canvas. Open the 3D Canvas. You need to ensure in the setup preferences, symbol representation points to the option where the step model has priority. You have three options here that give priority to the step models. From this, select an option, step model if available else the boundary shape. After this click apply and select OK. After this close the 3D canvas and save the board file. Open a drawing file double four five six four zero one dot dra. From here, go to View a 3D Canvas. Include all layers and include all objects. Select the primary model and select OK. The 3D Canvas is opened with no 3D models defined. In the 3D Mapper window, next to the model file, we have three dots. Select these dots. Browse through the models defined and select 4456401.stp. Now the 3D step model has been loaded in the footprint symbol. Now I am going to show you how you can use the different controls and mapping info options and achieve proper orientation and fit for the 3D symbol. The auto button when selected the symbols get aligned automatically to the top but it is not mapping the pins correctly and the z-axis of the symbols is not a perfect fit. Select the manual button in the controls and mapping info it creates three pointed ends on top of the 3D model, hover over any of the three pointed ends of the mechanism, and you will see that the end of the widget increases in size. To move the model using the controller, Simply hover over one of the three ends and left mouse button click and hold and drag in the direction of the pointed end of the widget, or in the reverse direction. You can also select the center ball and select left click and drag to move the symbol manually in all the X, Y, and Z directions. Select the auto button to reset the symbol position. I am going to move the symbol manually in the Z axis towards the north side and show you how different options work in the controls and mapping info. Rotate the footprint in the Z axis. Select the top option from the controls and mapping info and select a face of the 3D symbol which you want to sit on the top side. Now you can see the selected face will sit on the top side of the board. The symbol alignment and Z axis fit are perfect. The demo aims to understand the functions present in the Controls and Mapping Info tab, so let us explore some more options present in the Controls and Mapping Info button. Now, I move the 3D model manually by selecting the Man option, I get a 3-axis point each X, Y, and Z direction. If I move my cursor towards any one of the axes, the arrow icon gets slightly bigger, and I move the symbol towards the Z direction. Now I am going to map the symbol towards the bottom side. Select the bottom button and select the face of the 3D symbol which you want on the bottom side. You can see the symbol gets moved to the bottom side, and the face I selected comes and sits in the bottom. Now I move the symbol manually towards the Z direction south side so that I can select the face which I want on the top side. Select the top button from controls and mapping info and select the face which you want in top side. Now you can see the selected face of the 3D model comes and sits on the top side. Let us use the auto option and make the symbol misaligned so that we can explore the XY option. I select the auto button, the symbol gets misaligned. Manually move the symbol towards the north side of the Z axis so that it is easier for us to select the required pins and holes in the footprint. 
I am going to use the XY button to map the symbol in the XY direction in the 3D canvas. To use the XY option I must select a minimum of two pins in the symbol and two pins from the footprint. The order of selecting the pins in both footprint and the 3D model should be in the same order to map the symbol correctly. I select the XY option from the controls and mapping info and I select two pins from the model and select two pins from the board in the same order and right click and select snap. The symbol gets mapped in the XY direction. Now I want to map the 3D model on the Z axis. I select the Z button and I select the protruding face which will come and sit on the board, and I select the top side of the pinhole so that the surface of the footprint gets mapped to the Z axis. I select a pin from the footprint, then right click and select snap. The symbol gets mapped to the footprint. Now the symbol is in the exact position how it must fit with the footprint. I want to show you how the rotation works in the 3D file. I am going to rotate the model on the X, Y, and Z axis. Now I select rotate option in the X axis. When I rotate the 3D model, the model keeps the X axis as the center of the axis and rotates the symbol. After this if I select, rotate in the Y axis, the 3D model keeps Y as the center of the axis and if I rotate the symbol gets rotated in the Y direction. And if I want to rotate the symbol in the Z axis, Select the button to rotate and the 3D model keeps the axis as the center of axis and rotates the 3D model. You can see the offset and rotation values get updated. You can also change the offset and rotation values manually and change the 3D symbol position and its orientation. I am going to show you an example of importing the 3D mapper files we have already set our library paths where the 3D models and 3D mapping files were found. First, close the Allegro canvas and save the drawing file so that the changes made get saved. Now open a board file named unmapped.brd and open it in 3D canvas. The 3D canvas is opened by entering 3D in the command window and I have selected to include all objects and selected OK. Now in the board file, you can see there are no models assigned. I have a mapper file that consists of mapping information of this board file. In the 3D mapper tab, I select the import option, browse through the path, select the mapping file and click open. Now the board file gets loaded with the 3D models. You can also export the mapping file by clicking the export option and giving a name to the mapping file. The mapping file gets exported from the place where I had imported the 3D mapper file. Now we will check how we will import the mechanical 3D model in the board file. Open the board file named 3D underscore PCB underscore demo dot BRD and open its 3D canvas. Click on the 3D mapper and bring it into focus. Select the mechanicals. In mechanicals tab step 3D underscore mech underscore top cover is already defined. For this, I am going to assign a 3D step model. Select the step 3D underscore mech underscore top cover. Select the model type as the primary model. In the model file, browse through and select demo underscore cover underscore a dot step. Now the step model gets loaded in the board file. I will rotate the step model keeping the center of the axis as the Y axis. Using manual movement, I had moved the step model towards Z direction. I want to map the model exactly on top of the board. I had pressed numeric 8 to keep the model on the top side. I am going to use the XY button to map the 3D model on top of the board file. I have selected the XY button. I selected numeric 1 to keep the board in top isometric so that I can select the two diagonal holes in the 3D model and I selected two mounting holes in the board and right click and selected snap. Pressing numeric 8, top view, and if you see you can come to know the step models is mapped properly in the XY plane. 
Pressing numeric 5 you can see the step model is away from the top of the board file on the z-axis. Select the numeric 1 to keep the 3D canvas in the top isometric view. We can make it sit on top of the board by pressing top from controls and mapping info and I select the surface of the step model which I want to lie on top of the board file. You can see the 3D step model is perfectly sitting on top of the board file. Close the 3D canvas and save the board file. Thereby you can save the mapping information. That concludes the demonstration on how to use the controls and mapping info tab and assign 3D models to footprint and board files in 3D canvas.